For this installment of the Anesthetic Assessment, let's go through assessment of allergies. The reactions can be anything from non-lethal intolerances like gastrointestinal upset and nausea to full-blown anaphylaxis. The failure to identify critical allergic reactions can result in tremendous harm to the patient. And the nature of anesthesia is that we often give some of the most allergenic and reactive medications known to science. So these include antibiotics, muscle relaxants, as well as chlorhexidine and latex. So the minimum you need to do as a junior doctor is to record each medication and the reaction. Where it gets tricky is knowing what to do if the patient does have a reaction. For example, if someone has a penicillin allergy and kefazolin is the antibiotic prophylaxis for surgery of choice, what do you do? Well, a lot has changed in our understanding of penicillin allergy. For example, penicillin allergy often wanes over time. 50% of people will no longer be allergic at five years. Many reported penicillin allergies are not true allergies. Over 90% of reported penicillin allergies can be excluded by skin testing and oral provocation tests. And cross-reactivity between penicillins and cephalosporins is less common than previously thought. We used to think it was about 10%, but overall only 1-2% to of patients with a confirmed penicillin allergy have cephalosporin allergy as well. However, a reaction to cephalexin or cefaclor is more likely if the patient had a recent amoxicillin or ampicillin allergy. That's because these drugs are very similar side chain structures. So check out the QX Calculate app. In that app, use the Pen Fast Assessment tool to assist in making a decision. After a series of five questions, it generates a percentage chance of current positive penicillin allergy. But as always, discuss with your supervisor. I've provided links for the relevant article and app below. Another common allergy is muscle relaxant allergies due to the rates of cross-reactivity. So if a patient is allergic to one muscle relaxant, there's an increased chance that they're gonna be allergic to the other muscle relaxants as well. So the best way forward is to have the patient undergo comprehensive allergy testing, but this is not always possible in the time frame for surgery, and the decision for which medication to use is something to discuss with your supervisor. Opioid intolerances like nausea and vomiting are very important to uncover and also very common. Often intolerance to one opioid, like morphine, doesn't necessarily mean an intolerance to another opioid like fentanyl. So I take a thorough history to decipher how severe and how long the nausea lasted and whether it was easily treated and also if other opioids have been given subsequently. So there's an amazing amount of information to process when making decisions about medication reactions, but I hope this has given you knowledge and resources to understand the basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the other videos on anesthesia assessment for more tips and tricks. Oh,